An explosive investigation accused the world's largest Baptist denomination of covering up sex abuse allegations. Way 31 News dug through the newly released list of sex abusers. Way 31 anchor Marie Waxo shares what we found in that 200-page list. We found five men with ties to North Alabama churches among 33 ministers. We want to update you on where those offenders are now. Some of these names and images will be familiar to many of you. First, Charles Kyle Adcock. He's living in Arkansas and is on the sex offender registry there. Adcock was a youth minister at Woodward Avenue Baptist Church in Muscle Shoals at the time of his 2014 sodomy arrest. Another former Muscle Shoals children's minister remains in an Alabama prison. Jeffrey Eddy has served eight years of his 30-year sentence for sodomy and sex abuse. Eddy served as a children's minister at Highland Park in Muscle Shoals. James Vernon McNeil is also still in prison. He's locked up in Limestone Correctional where he's served four years of his sentence. Online prison records show he's not due to be released until 2058. McNeil worked at Bethlehem Baptist in Hazel Green. 78-year-old Billy Paul Masters is now a registered sex offender living in Boaz. He got out of prison in 2019 after his 2002 conviction for sex abuse. 81-year-old John Langston Anderson worked as a pulpit preacher in Russellville and several other churches. He pleaded guilty to sex abuse in 2002. He's now living in Memphis where he's on that state's sex offender registry. The 205-page list is a version of a document maintained for more than a decade by a staff member of the convention's executive committee. It covers offenses going back decades. Each entry includes the alleged offender's name, the year the offense was reported, and the state where it took place, and a short description of the accusations against them, with links to relevant news articles. Marie Waxel, Way 31 News. The Southern Baptist Convention now has a confidential hotline for victims to report abuse. The number is at the bottom of your screen. We will put the, uh, it will put you in touch with an advocate and let you learn about resources that are available. That hotline is managed by a third-party firm that was hired to investigate SBC's executive committee. 